we're now going to move on to the buttons because we've done all of this work on the dress um, we thought it might be quite nice just to give it a little bit of a lift by putting some new buttons on now these are really pretty and they're just going to freshen the dress up and give it a nice new look so what you would need to do first of all is take the old buttons off now these this needs to be done quite carefully i'm using snips and what we need to do is just snip the old stitching from the button like so and it will gradually come apart you can get into it and see it from either side be careful not to catch the dress just take a little bit of time with this sometimes they come off very easily sometimes they take a little bit of maneuvering around until you find a good place like that to get in which will then loosen the hut there we go and that loosens the whole button off so just take off all of the excess cotton uh, you may need to trim it just to ease it out like so so that's our first button off now i recommend definitely double thread <clears throat> for your buttons and as you know in the past i have used four threads before but with this dress being so light and delicate i think if we just use the double cotton so pop your needle in where the old button came off now if you i don't know if you remember we used some buttons with shanks on in one of our button tutorials so although these are tiny little buttons they still have that shank so put your needle through the shank just got to do a little repair here because obviously the button had pulled the fabric so I'm just doing that. There we go. Now we can come up through. So needle through the shank like so. And then back down through the fabric where you came out. And then really repeat that process. So up through the fabric, through the shank and then down the other side and just keep doing that till you feel that the button is really secure and you will know when you feel it you'll think yeah that's that's on quite tight i'm going to do a few more because like i say this fabric does have a tendency to pull away so just to be safe so there we go and that's our first one on and that just looks so pretty so trim your thread like so now with this one i don't know if you'll have noticed but the button we took off was actually a little bit bigger than the button we're putting on so here it is look so it's a good idea to check what this one will be like with the buttonholes it may well be that it will just pull through now that is sitting quite securely but what i am going to do i think because you can see there's the button at the top of the buttonhole and then you have 
all of this space here. So just as a safety precaution, I've knotted my cotton and ever so delicately, I'm going to go in at the bottom of the buttonhole, fold it over my finger, and then I'm just going to close that buttonhole ever so slightly. And that will just sort of stop should the button decide it wants to slip through the buttonhole, that will stop that from happening. Um, and the dress should stay securely done up then. You don't need to do much. It's just literally a couple of stitches. So let's have a look now and see how that does up. All fingers and thumbs today. Yeah, so that is feeling much better now. You don't notice it because the button sets itself in the middle of the buttonhole, but there's no way that's going to open. So we'll move on and we'll do another one just to show you the complete process again. So not the cotton as so. And then, yeah, see that's, there's just a tiny little hole behind that button as well. So we'll do the same thing again. So we're just going to find a piece of thread to nip to loosen the button. And as you can see with this one, over time, buttons do get chipped and marked when they go through the wash. So you can see there, there's a, you know, there's a little bit of chipping and such like. So it, it does really lift a garment, even just putting new buttons on, it makes it feel. So just knit that off and as before, all I've done is it was literally just a few catch stitches behind where the button will sit and that will stop the button pulling through the fabric. So that comes up through. Now that is where originally the button was sat. And here we have a nice little tiny black one. So again, exactly the same process through the shank, down through the fabric, and then back up and through the shank a few times. There we go. And then just do a couple of catch stitches at the back, like so, and then through your loop to do a tie off. So nip that cotton and then to the buttonhole once again, because I think probably they'll benefit although this one doesn't look quite as pulled as the others. Yeah, I think they'll benefit from just a couple of stitches just to make that buttonhole that bit safer. So like so. And these really are such pretty little buttons and they really make a difference. So what I'll do a moment is I'll go ahead and replace them all exactly the same way as I've done this. And then we'll have a look at it again. So we now have the finished dress. It's all been repaired. The new buttons have been placed on and 
they are looking really pretty and it just gives it a little bit of a facelift so once again from me myself chris i'd like to say thank you for watching the tutorial and i hope you've enjoyed it <laughs>